Ah, the holidays. That magical time of year when the air is filled with anticipation and the scent of freshly baked cookies. It's a season of gathering with loved ones, where we all gleefully indulge in a little merry madness. And amidst the howling winter winds, poised to unleash the perfect snowstorm, a cherished tradition awaits. With a sense of excitement, I send my wife up on the rooftops to embark on a remarkable feat of acrobatic Christmas decorating. It's a breathtaking spectacle, akin to witnessing Santa's own Cirque du Soleil production. Admittedly, our endeavors may teeter on the edge of questionable safety standards, but that only amplifies the exhilaration and festive thrill that captivate all who witness them. But let's address the curious case of Santa Claus. In this festive saga, he's found himself in an unexpected location, next to the trash cans. Can you imagine it? The jolly old man finds himself surrounded by discarded pizza boxes and crumpled wrapping paper. And as for why Santa is by the trash cans, that's because that's where he fucking belongs. This is Jesus' birthday. That's why he and the wise men get to hang out with the snowmen and bears. You sit by the trash, old man, and think about that. So there he sits, by the trash, pondering the true meaning of Christmas. Oh, but the holiday madness doesn't end there, my chud buds. We have an intriguing subplot involving a stubborn Halloween sticker. It's causing me more frustration than trying to untangle a year's worth of Christmas lights that have been hibernating in the attic. That sucker's got more sticking power than a New Year's resolution post January 1st. But fear not, I've devised a genius solution, slapping a wreath over it. Voila! Problem solved, or at least aesthetically concealed. Tis the season to cover up our mistakes, after all. Now, let's dive into some meteorological mayhem, shall we? El Nino is pulling the strings, manipulating the air currents like a conductor with a symphony gone wild. It's like Mother Nature got a bit mischievous and decided to give the snow globe a good shake, just to see where all those flakes would end up. But hey, don't let a measly half an inch of snow fool you, my friends. That's just a tiny taste of what's to come. The real spectacle begins when those whimsical air currents start their grand waltz across the Midwest, leaving the East Coast and some parts of the South shivering in a deep freeze. So, make sure to bundle up tight and grab a steaming mug of hot cocoa because this ride is going to be wild, folks. But don't let the weather steal the spotlight. Everything in this holiday extravaganza is rated for outdoor use and is waterproof. The only thing to worry about is avoiding a total burial under the snow. But I brush off this uh, potential catastrophe like a minor hiccup in the grand symphony of holiday absurdity. Gotta admire that unyielding spirit. Now, in a surprise twist, our tale takes a turn towards decorating flair. I decided to go all out with an inflatable snow globe. Imagine dancing elves, a twirling Santa, and enough blinking lights to make your retinas beg for mercy. It's a spectacle that would make Clark Griswold raise an eyebrow and ponder whether he's been slacking off in the holiday decoration department. And what about the neighbors? Well, they waver between admiration and genuine concern for my sanity. Can't say I blame them. Of course, what's a holiday story without a bit of neighborly competition? It turns into an all-out arms race of festive proportions, with each house vying to outshine the other. Inflatable giants, synchronized light shows, and enough tinsel to wrap around the earth. It's a holiday battleground, and I'm determined to be crowned the undisputed king of Christmas kitsch. Let the games commence. As the snow begins to fall, I face the challenge of keeping my decorations visible amidst the winter wonderland. It becomes a battle against nature itself. But fear not, I have a secret weapon up my sleeve. Strategically place spotlights. Who needs sunlight? When you can transform your front yard into a beacon visible from space, it's like the bat signal. Just way more festive. But hold on to your Santa hats, my chud buds, because I have yet another ace up my sleeve. I decide to take the holiday festivities one step further, organizing a neighborhood Christmas parade. Picture this, a magnificent procession of festively decorated cars, each trying to outdo the other in a display of yuletide one-upmanship. Santa waves merrily from one car's rooftop, while Rudolph, his nose blinking furiously, guides another.
It's a spectacle that leaves the whole neighborhood in awe and perhaps a touch of confusion as well. As the parade snakes through the streets, I can't help but soak in the mesmerizing chaos of it all. The rival displays the, the dazzling lights and the occasional blast of a jolly Christmas tune streaming from a car speaker. It's like a symphony of holiday merriment that would surely make even the Grinch second guess his life decisions. Whether this story is legit or just a wild figment of imagination, it doesn't really matter. Man, I tell you, what a time to be alive, surrounded by all this crazy, festive madness. Until next time, my friends, go out there and laugh at the internet. I know I am. <laughs>